Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Today we are talking about chapter five of Humility by Andrew Murray. And so basically I just wanted to talk about one thing that he talks about in this chapter. And so this is probably not going to be a very long video, um, but I hope it's an encouraging one. And so basically what he says is that it is only by the indwelling Christ and his divine humility that we become truly humble. Um, and I just think that's so encouraging because that means that nothing we do, no knowledge that we earn, nothing in our own power can make us humble. It's only through the power of the Holy Spirit that we can uh, become truly humble. And he also says some really interesting things that I want to touch on. And um, he says that we have our pride from the original Adam. So we must get our humility from the second and better Adam, who is Jesus. And he also says that um, pride is ours and it rules in us and it is our very nature. And um, so it's very easy to be prideful. But um, he also says humility must be ours in the same way. It must be our very self, our very nature. As natural and easy as it has been to be proud, it must be to be humble. And our promise is that where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more in Romans 6.1. And so um, I just hope that that is encouraging to you. Um, I just think it's encouraging to me because I know that I am still in the journey of um, making humility easier and pride harder. But obviously that's not anything that I can do. So it's it's truly relying on the Holy Spirit to do that in me, but um, but it's still so much easier to be prideful, and so I'm not relying on the Holy Spirit to try to be humble. I'm still trying to rely on myself, and I feel like it's just this vicious cycle, but, um, but I think I just continually need to be reminded that it's nothing in myself that will um, make me humble. Even on my best days, when it's in my power to be humble, I am probably doing it for the wrong reasons, for the wrong motives, just as probably the disciples were doing it in the New Testament. They were, they were probably, whenever they would ask, who's going to be the greatest in heaven? And Jesus said, it's the, the person who's the most humble. Um, that would probably make me think, okay, well, I need to be humble so I can be the greatest, but that's still not a good motive. And so, um, so yeah, that's kind of really all I have to say today. Uh, I feel like a lot of this is kind of repeating, which is great because I think we need to keep remembering um, the promises that God has given us and we need to be reminded of how prideful we are so we can truly rely on him for humility. Um, but that's kind of all I really wanted to say. So I'm going to pray us out with the prayer that's at the end of the chapter. And so yeah. Father, I am more like Peter than I want to admit, prone to taking my eyes off of you for just a minute, just to see, just to look, just out of curiosity. I feel my feet slipping before I've had a chance to even gather my thoughts. Teach me what it means to be caught up in the boastful pride of life. Remind me that your Holy Spirit lives inside of me and your Son is making intercession for me. You show me how this changes everything and how I live and breathe and move and see you. Make gratefulness to you be my fuel rather than envy being where the action is, envy of being where the action is. Keep my public visibility low and yourself in my eyes always. In your son's name, amen. So I, got, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and yeah, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.